This is why the GTA sandbox might be the greatest sandbox of all time. Dude. There's so many things you can do. My flippy floppies, dude! No! Oh. You got it! He got it! Let's go! Hey, Gameologists. Welcome back to another episode of Luck or Skill, a gaming show, hopefully your favorite, where we react to your clips and we decide whether you're the stormtrooper with the bot aim or whether you are the supreme commander, Darth Vader himself. We're looking forward to seeing your guys' epic clips this week. So without further ado, my friends, let's not waste any time and jump straight into this episode. His name's... Oh my lord, the DPI. John Wick. Oh, nice. Okay. Bro? Bro? Why is it one-shotting everyone? This isn't a... This isn't a deagle. He's not in hardcore. Is he in hardcore? And he just has a UAV. Uh, yeah, he is yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in hardcore. Man, he's popping off though. Oh, he, he sure is. So clean. His DPI yeah. is super high. Oh yeah. I cannot guys, play with a high guy. Guy is turned. Give this man a McTurn. And see, that's the thing, man. Unless you got stim, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't healing. Oh, wait a minute. Did he use a I mean, it's hardcore either way, so it doesn't really matter. But that guy absolutely just popped off. Bro, he just destroyed him. They had those guys in a vicious little spawn trap, too. Bro, that was nuts, man. Dude. The one thing that I miss about... Well, I miss, kind of, about Modern Warfare is all of the, the crap talking in between <laughs> rounds and before and after games. Something yeah. about... The Modern Warfare franchise as a whole is just breeds toxicity. Yeah. All right. I mean, dude, I, I think that was pretty self-explanatory in that one, man. Like, I don't. I don't oh think, yeah. I don't think there's much first, luck involved in that. First clips, easy, baby. Yeah, man. Easy. They're giving easy. us a freebie. Tossing it up. Yep. Home run. Out of the park for skill. Thank you. Okay, oh, we got we got some new. Is this Watson? We're not new. We got more Apex Legends. Hello, hello, mate. It's I, mate. The penguin's gonna get ya. Oh, see, I have a like. Night. Oh, I mean, it's just a finisher, just like yeah. every other character has a finisher. Yeah, but see, I haven't, I haven't played Apex since like season two, man. So it's like I, some of these things are like new to me. I'm like, yo, this is dope, bro. Are you dead? Oh, I mean, this is a phenomenal game. Oh, it is. But I are they playing ranked? I think they are playing ranked. Still want that Titanfall 3, man. Are they? Yeah, I think I they are, know. right? Isn't I that... think they are, but I'm not sure. Bang! Good Ooh. shot. Ooh, clean, clean. Okay. okay. Nice shot. Those See? Are... This is what would have made the difference for me in that rainbow clip. Was he had that little bit of cover okay. to bob and weed out of. I mean, those are clean, man. Those are pinpoint clean shots. That's one thing I love about Apex as a whole, too is there's so much verticality to the movement that I feel like it really adds a very unique skill gap that you don't see in a lot of games. Oh yeah, for sure. Being able to make plays like that and with Pathfinder, being able to soar above your enemies, we've seen some incredible clips. Oh yeah. Uh, with with the movement like that in Apex, for sure. Love it, man. Oh, he's got the longbow. We have, I don't know if we've seen a clip with the longbow. I used to love using the longbow. Yeah. Bang! So See, he's smart enough to get behind the cover too, so so he knows that he can bob and weave, and then, doink. Yeah, that's skill for me. The yeah. only thing I could really say he got lucky on was that they were trapped in a in a confined space, the enemies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But also smart of him to pounce when they were in a uh, enclosed area. Yeah, man. High high IQ play, pinpoint accuracy, skill. Oh, skill. You got the skills to pay the bills, man. Using the football and dust too as a wall hack. What, what in the world are you doing? Man, I, I feel like such a moron when it comes to CSGO. Oh, is he gonna, he's gonna kick the... <laughs> no way. Hello, mate. Would you like to play some football? Bro, that is so <laughs> smart, guy. <laughs> Look at the enemy. He like kicks a soccer ball and he's just watching. Look at his, he's watching the soccer ball. Wow, dude. <laughs> that, that, that was great. That was just great. There's definitely nothing lucky about this, man. This is skill. This is smarts. Are you sure, though? Yeah, man. He's not lucky. He, he, man, he planned that. I mean, sure he did What do you mean he's not lucky? That guy nah. could have easily went around the soccer ball and not kicked it. Nine out of ten people would have kicked that soccer ball. Because you see a soccer ball in a game, 
And you can't help but go try to kick it, man. You can't. No, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on it being skill. I do think it's a smart play, but like I said, there's a lot of luck at the guy just kicking it. I agree. I probably would have done the same thing. I would have sat there and tried to play a game of football with him. But... Josh, I have to use this this episode. We got a new animation for the damn thing. Skaluck, baby! Oh, baby! How beautiful she looks. Glistening. My little baby's growing up. Oh, man, they grow up so fast. So what's your verdict? I'm going with skill, man. I'm going with skill on that one. Yeah. I can see why. I see you, Facebook comments. Don't you say I got no spine, all right? I make my own decisions, all right? Why would you love me? <laughs> Ah, so Breath of the Wild. What? We oh. all is that ugly creature? Oh, it's a bacoblin. A what? A bacoblin. What? B o k o, b o l i n. A bacoblin. Bacoblin. The impressive part is like timing that man. He's getting a rock thrown at him by the bacoblin. He just shoots an arrow at the rock, and hits the rock back at the bacoblin and kills him. Is it as skillful as all the other Breath of the Wild clips we've seen? No, not necessarily. But is it lucky? I don't this think it might be one of my favorite ones we've seen. I don't think Breath it's Breath of the Wild. I don't think it's lucky only because I don't like it, I think it was 100% intentional and therefore I think it's skill. Bacoblin. Bacoblin. It's a fun word to say, right? No, I love that name. This one seems straightforward. The rock times it. So, for me, I'm going to give that skill. All right, man. I love it. Can we go ahead and lock you in for this being your favorite clip of the week? Nah. No, nah, I think out of all the Breath of Wild clips we've seen, this is like maybe not like my favorite one out of them all. So who knows what, what we have in store for the rest of the clips. We'll see, man. We'll see. This one might be my favorite just because of the Bacab. Oh, no. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Boink. Boink. <laughs> is he going to melee their whole team? Oh, I wish. I like the moves. See, like oh, OK. OK, <laughs> there you go. Downs and goes in for the melee. You can tell by his or her movement that they are a competent rainbow player. That's one of my favorite things to watch when I watch rainbow is the little, I don't even know what to call it, the, the left peak to the right peak, or lean I should say, where they're just moving back and forth depending on what angle they're clearing. I love it. A lot of the clips that we see, there's so many different angles you can view it from. And that's why I always like to hear from y'all's perspectives down in the comments below because I may look at something differently than what you see it or what somebody else sees it. So I always like to see the different perspectives. I think that's what also helps us grow as analysts. That is true. That is true. I, I love I love hearing how like other people's you know opinions on these clips either line up with what we kind of seen in them or differ from our opinions and, and hearing why they think that. You know that's that's the beauty of, of, of locker skill. What if yeah they had an agreement before the round started oh. that they were only going to use melee weapons. What if that was the agreement? So they went into that room and had themselves a little bit of a rumble. And then when the last person that got schwacked realized that his three teammates went down, he said, oh, no, I'm breaking this agreement. I'm and breaking then he started the shooting. And then the person whose point of view that we see said, OK, well, you want to break the treaty. I'll just gun your, your high knee down. That's the only thing I can think of for why they were not shooting at him. In my made up scenario that in all reality is probably not real, I'll give that a skill. Cause he was able to bob and weave like he was Rocky, rope a dope him into certain situations and then bonk him in the head. However, if the situation is not like I said, then I'm gonna give it a luck. If it is like you say, then I'm definitely giving it a skill. If it's not like you say, I'm still, I would, I would be leaning more towards a squat because I think there's still some skill in there. Spineless. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. After two weeks of trying. Two weeks? <laughs> oh, what the frick? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. I love it already. This is why the GTA sandbox might be the greatest sandbox of all time. Dude. There's so many things you can do. My flippy floppies, dude. No. Oh. You got it. He got it. Let's go. Let's and how else go, are you going to celebrate than with a selfie? I don't know how the glitch works. I don't know if it's something you can readily control or if you have to just hit it just right and it glitches you. Like, obviously, it's not flying you to the same spot every time when you run at it. So it, it kind of just seemed like you're just running at the vehicle and it's just kind of glitching you up and above until you finally hit that that perfect height. I love watching it, though. 
<laughs> but I, 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 yeah, I think I have to give it a luck. Mm -hmm. I yep. try to argue it either way, just for the sake of arguing. But I think, I think I gotta give it a luck. Yeah, can't deny it. But it's a so cool agree? clip. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. That was my train of thought. Yep. Oh. <gasps> Let's go! Finally! Oh, there he goes. Oh, man. baby! Oh, he's hyped. Look at all my Tarkov collectibles. Here he goes, my baby. Intel. I got my graphics card. It's literally modeled after the graphics card in the game. Oh, this is my game, baby. Let's go! Chris disconnected on labs with two minutes left. I'm so excited. I can't tell you how excited I am right now. <laughs> There's a lot of dead raiders. Man's got the couch backpack. And he's DC'd. No shot. So, uh, disconnecting in Tarkov, unfortunately, is a very common thing. The server's... Yeah, and it does take a little bit to reconnect. Okay. And so, when he's disconnected, he's technically still in the raid. Right. But he is not able to move his character until he reconnects. So, so the timer, the timer at the top right, yeah. if he cannot get out before that timer runs out, then he loses everything. All the gear that he brought in, all the gear in his backpack, it is all gone. Bro, that is, that is wow. And so what he's going to do is he's going to open this door. I would assume the power's already on, and there's an elevator right here that he can get out at. So is he, like, trying to drag his friend over yes, to the elevator? Yes, he's trying to push him into the elevator. Then he can hop in the elevator with him. No way. And then they can both get out. Oh Bro, that's a, you got a minute left. You got to go, man. That's a ways to go, man. Five seconds. Oh, my God. I believe. I believe. I mean, now that you set up the stage, man, like, I'm on the edge of my seat here. I'm and he's trying him. to reconnect right now as we speak. And that could he could reconnect before the time runs out, and that could be all the difference in the world. I might yep. be able to do this. Now I want to say that they took this out of the game. So this might uh, be an older clip. His, his but I know I've had friends disconnect I and I haven't been able to push them. So I want to say this really got close. removed. Dude, he's got so much pressure right now. His friend is like <laughs> He's like, yo, I don't know if I could do this. Bro, there's 20 this seconds. I got the biggest backpack in the game. Push it through. Bro, come on. Oh, my God. Bro, I actually have anxiety. I was going to say, I'm, I'm getting anxious here, man. Come on. I believe. Oh, bro, let's go. He's got it. He's let's got go. it. Let's go, yeah. Hit the button. I called the elevator. You're, you're in here. You're oh, my oh goodness. My what a legend. God. We all need friends like that. We all need friends like that. That was amazing. What a clutch. And he extracted. Because there are times where that'll happen and you'll extract. And since you were disconnected, you don't get anything. That was epic. I mean, I don't even know anything about the game, but that was epic, man. I mean, I know what you've told me, so. Wow. I'm so happy they put a Tarkov clip in. Holy hell. From where I'm sitting, I would say that's skill. I mean, that, to me, that was epic. From where you're sitting, what do you say? I can't think of anything other than skill. Dude, it was epic. That was so Not epic. Yeah, not what I expected from Tarkov, and that's that's kind of the beauty of Tarkov is any literally anything can happen in that game. Thank you. Give me more Tarkov clips, please. Okay. Some Warzone, oh. bro. I was trying to play oh. some Warzone last night, and I got sweated on. Good I, shot. I, just, I just quit. Bro, okay. Good shot. Okay. Three for three, four for oh. four, well, four for five. Bro, these are clean. And I like that we're getting a varying degree of difficulty here. Some are standing still, some are moving, and he's not missing. No. Jesus Christ, it's Bro. Jason Bourne sitting on a what rock in Warsaw. <laughs> he's still going at it. Ooh, he missed that. That would have been the naughtiest one. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and somebody okay. finally caught on and said no more. Bro, that was a merciless plus, like, what, one or two? That was, like, what, 11 kills, 12 kills? It, there was a merciless He got the merciless metal. there. Yeah. Add one more to it. That's 11. His name says 12. aimbots and cheat. No, is it? Yeah. But he's not cheating because if you're cheating, and it'd be very extremely obvious. He'd be snapping to everybody. You, my friend, say it with me. Ready? Three, two, one. Skill. Come on, man. You left me hanging. Skill. I think I say it with me, bro. Skill. How am I gonna say it in unison with you? What are we? Come on, man, we're the Teletubbies. Are we trying out for a cheerleading squad? What in the f Yeah, unfortunately, like, I'm probably gonna miss a lot of what's going on. The little uh, idiosyncrasies in this game. Bro, I love- make a, make a big difference. I love Reaper, okay? In understanding. I know this, I know Reaper, and God. I love freaking Reaper, baby. 
Okay, he's freaking, uh, he's Shaxx from Destiny, from the Crucible, he's Shaxx. This man just goes in, he's like, die, die, So then tell me what die. happens then. Well, Bring it down for me. He teleports in, he pops in on the, on the point, and he just uses his ultimate and shreds them to freaking oblivion, baby. Um, I mean, it was epic. And Look at the time. Oh, he shoot. teleported because he didn't have enough oh, time. Oh yeah, see, see? That's the fact, because he jumped on the point, he's contesting, pushing it into overtime. They, they were all there for, for a specific reason, which was to try to capture the point. And Reaper just came in and he's like, nope. Not today, sucker. This is my town. Or what does he say? Die, die, die. That's so dark and demonic. I love it. I love it. Ah, so, skill. Okay, so with that, that, that simple little bit of information for me does enough for me to sway it towards uh to skill in my opinion okay got some resident evil 2 baby is this the remaster or no yeah this, this is the re this is remake remaster whatever you want to call it see Man, I, a, a franchise i've never played see i've, I've been playing uh, resident evil 2 for the first time ever like the remake um i haven't played this dlc uh okay hold on i, I have no idea what just happened okay so i think like, it looks like he's just doinking everybody i think like that was, that was a nice headshot. But it does look like, going by the reticle, there is a little bit of bloom. I'll say this. does add a little bit of luck to all, it. All of those headshots were super clean. I don't know, man. I think it's skill. Because, like like I said, if you if you get hands-on, the zombie swing, like, bro, I've whiffed on so many shots in this game. It's unbelievable. Because it's our first episode with the new animation, I'm going to call it Scluck for that. Okay. See that right there? The title alone makes me think that this is already luck before we even see it. Yeah. He's just having a <laughs> he's having a southern tug of war with his cars right now. What is about to happen here? I don't know. It's just gonna bounce on him. <laughs> That's what? luck. That's luck. <laughs> okay, no, yeah. It's luck, but I love it. If there was like a luck times three, this clip would get it. I mean, come on, luck, man. Luck, luck, luck. Luck, luck, luck. So look how it all began. The, yep. the opposing team hit it, then his team hit it off of there, hits off the wall, his teammate misses it, and then it just <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's great. That's lucky. That's amazing. Called it. Improvise, adapt, overcome. I respect that. I respect this title. I'm fired up after hearing that title. Heck yeah, dude. Ooh, see? Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How is this tank still operational, soldier? The heck? No. I don't know about that. Bro, you for real right now? <laughs> you gotta take it out though. Take it out. Come on. Come on. Nice. Yes. Let's go. A lot of angles for this for me. The shooting of it all? Skillful. Skillful as hell. How is the tank still operational? I guess in that sense you could say that part's lucky. He got suplexed by a by a plane. Okay, here's my thing. Did he take out the plane and then it fell onto the... I think so. No? I, Enemy crashed. I can't tell. Enemy crashed. Yeah, I know, but it crashed when it hit him. But I don't think he took out the vehicle that caused it to fall into him. And then from there, he's like a little turtle. A little, a little side angle, man. Like, bro, that, that's great. That is great. So you say what? I say that's skill. I, I think, yeah, I think it's skill. I think I have to agree. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Oh, it's Tsushima! Oh, that's great. I love it. I oh love my it. Gosh. Every time. This man baby. is getting surrounded. Bro, he's at the edge of the cliff. At the freaking edge of the cliff. He is. He's, Any he's moment. limiting his, his movement and direction. Any moment he could have got kicked off that cliff, but instead, he keeps his composure, stays cool, calm, and collected. One thing that I want to see is, is is he switching stances as he's battling different enemy types, or is he... I think he is. I think so. He did it really quickly there. Really quick, yeah. Because I remember that was one of the... Yeah. The skills in the game that I tried to learn was recognizing enemy types and figuring out what stance belongs to what. Because it does help out a lot. Bro. And then the honorable finish. That was great, man. Especially, like you said, changing the stances in between all of that. Bro, that was an epic play. 
We don't know what difficulty it's on, but I don't even care, man. I feel like that's just like reeking with skill, man. Like, yeah, he was one on how many? One on a lot. That's my uh, scientific <laughs> say in that. That's one like, on a lot. That's like at least 10, man, or, or so. I love this game. It's so good. It's so good. And the thing that makes it so impressive is he's not getting hit once. Yeah. And you that's, know that's the most impressive part to me. Yeah, I think it's a smart play. I think it's mm. epic. I love it. I love a little bit of Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, I got to give that a skill. I agree. Okay. I give that skill as well. Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Oh, man. All right. What are you doing? You're down. Yeah, what is going to happen here? And you're going into the storm. Oh, is that the enemy? Did he just is push it? the enemy into the storm? He pushed the enemy into the storm. Bro, that's like that Apex Legends clip we've seen. What a freaking boss. But, 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 but. But? You're in the middle of the freaking desert with legitimately 360 degrees of movable area around you. Nah. Nah? Nah. What is this guy doing? That's the other thing, is he could have been thirsted at any point. Good on you. That's a great clip and a funny clip, but I'm calling that luck. Since we're using the new animation, I'm giving it a skluck, okay? Because there was an element of skill, but there was an element of luck, and I think they both are present in this clip, personally. John Wick's now in London. London? Oh, I hated this game. <laughs> oh, man. You know, the first game, I really liked the first game. I really did. I think the second was better than the first. Really? But, yeah? Yeah. Just for gameplay wise, but yeah. Right, yeah. This game was an abomination for a game. Yeah, I that like... was That was sick. But uh -huh. I, what I was gonna say is it sets up the opportunity for people to do some really cool things. And yeah. when I say I think it's an abomination as a game, when it first came out, it ran terribly and the story is, in my opinion, horrendous. And these are tougher enemies. These aren't exactly little newbie enemies. No. You get these uh, a little bit later on in the game. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, I didn't notice the little drone shot the first time. Okay. So wait a minute, what happens after he shoots the drone? He shoots the drone, and then it it moves the car and blows up the car? I don't think the car takes anything out. I think it just kind of adds to yeah. the cinematics of it all. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. These seem like decently routine plays. Like activates the electric trap, shoots that guy in the face, Melee you, that's a pretty cool assassination, absolutely. And then shooting the drone. It's mainly the games that are against AI. Where yeah. I feel like it's tougher to judge. Yeah, because the, the AI obviously have a certain They're very pattern. predictable. Yeah, exactly. But you can't say that it's not skillful. And you can't say that it's lucky. So that for me is a skluck. No, I'm gonna give it skill. Are you? I just don't think I just don't think it's a super high what? tier skill. I, I mean what? What? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I just thought that going in a different direction. I thought I thought we were on the same wavelength for a second there, man. I was like, ah, I was disappointed. That's all. It was cool. It wasn't impressive. And I'm going to give it a skill. Okay, that's all she wrote, folks. So now that we've seen your guys' clips, we've seen some epic team kills. We've seen some legendary friends. It's time for us to decide this week what our favorite clips are. And while we do that, let us know in the comments below what your favorite clip was. Michael. What was your favorite clip this week? It was a last second decision for me between the GTA clip and obviously the Tarkov clip. I'm gonna sit for Tarkov. It's my favorite clip. It, it's gotta be. Okay. Send me more Tarkov clips, please. Please, I'm begging, please. I'm about to blow your mind. And uh, before anyone types this in the comment section, I actually was leaning very strongly towards this one. I am going with the Tarkov clip as well. Why? Hey. Because I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, bro, I was, I, this guy's gotta clutch this. And it was just so epic, dude. I love the play. So now that you've seen our favorite clips, I need you to do me a favor. Three favors to be exact. One, like this video before you guys go. Number two, make sure to subscribe to Gameology here on YouTube. And number three, and finally, head on over to Facebook and make sure to follow them there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys had an absolutely fantastic time. Thank you guys for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch us be idiots on the internet. Stay awesome, stay yourself, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. All right, we ready? Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Get her done!
But now I'm in a situation right now where I don't I feel I don't feel comfortable calling it luck, skluck, or skill. Maybe like school.